So hi everybody. Um, we thought that since today is spotlight day that we were going to do a little art project and I've got some helpers here with me today. I have Maddie, my granddaughter, and my grandson hi. Miles. Um, he's super cool with his shades on but it's really because he suffers from allergies and we decided to do this outside. Because um, today we're going to be um, playing with a little bit of paint and string and anything can happen and when you're doing paint and string you could end up with it all over your kitchen or whatever room you're doing it in so we decided to bring this outside so you need some really um basic things for this um project we're going to need some paint now actual paint um that the uh the plans that we found online the instructions was colored water um, liquid watercolor and um, Maddie's going to use that today and show you the results that she gets with that and Miles is going to use just some good old-fashioned temper paint easy washable off of everything um, if you don't have any of the either one of these types of paints you could also use food coloring um, again food coloring as you know is going to stain so you might want to wear gloves with that or you know you're just going to have warrior hands uh, artist hands for a little bit so the other things that we need here is we need some string and Maddie has already pre-cut this for us into about 18 inch lengths um, you can use any type of household um, kitchen string we're using a twine because that's all we could uh, get our hands on today scissors obviously for cutting it we also pulled um, the instructions didn't say this but we found this has helped in the past we pulled some skewers out because it's easier to pick the the um, string out of the glass of paint using a skewer than reaching our hand in and getting our hands covered in paint. Um, so obviously we've got some cups then to put our paint in and, so, and then we have good old-fashioned copy paper. So again the things that you need for this project is some paint, um, some paint here, we need some string, scissors to cut the string, some paper and some cups. Um, we do the skewer um, just because we find it easier and then the last thing you need and you need to be very careful what you find when we used to all have old Sears catalogs around um, it was very easy to use that but I've just grabbed some old catalogs I had from it um, on my bookcase and we're going to use those books too because you need something to put this piece of artwork in to draw the string through and we'll explain that as we go along so to start with the two kids are each you're going to grab a piece of paper and they're going to fold it in half no, nope, it does not matter which way and it, if you want you can fold it um, the way Maddie is folding it right now or you can fold it long ways and make a different design. Um, this way, the way that they're doing it right now, folding the paper in half, um, bringing it down to a, what would that be, five and a half by eight? About card yeah, size. Yeah, about card size. That's a, that's a good way of putting it, Maddie. Um, we're going to start with that. So we're each going to pick their own colors. Um, Miles has already selected that he wants to do some blue and some vibrant green. So those are my my um, Miles's two colors. And Maddie is taking, what are you taking there, Maddie? Pink or red and blue. Okay. So they're each going to, oh, and the wind is going to pick up and it's going to cause us a little bit of havoc here. They're each going to take a cup, two cups, one for each color. And they're going to put a little bit of paint into each of their cups. So, I'm a mess. not too much. It doesn't take very much. You're just going to cover the string with the paint when we dip the paint. That's going to be plenty, Matt. That's very wet. And Miles, so it's not very much paint at all. If you can see, a little bit more than that, Matt, Miles, just a tad. Yeah, if you can see that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you didn't even put any that time. There we go. Just a just a very little. Yeah, if you can see there's not very much in here. There's not very much in there at all. As you can see. And now they're each going to take one piece of string and you're they're going to stick the string in, but they're going to keep the very end. Maddie show She's going to hang on to one end of the string. And when she puts it in the cup so that it doesn't fall into the cup because you want one end to be able to hold on to. 
I say that as I drop as she, yeah, she <laughs> as says I that drop. as she drops it. Then she's going to take the skewer and she's going to mix it up, hanging on to the string while she mixes to get the color onto her piece of string. Miles is going to do the same thing. I'm going to hand him a skewer here. Give me one minute. There we go, Miles. Go ahead and he's going to mix it up and get his string completely covered in paint except for the piece that you're hanging on to or you're going to have paint all over your hands okay it once okay if it's okay if you had gloves on if you had gloves on you could just stick it in there and swish the whole thing around if you wanted so once you have it all covered you're going to take your folded piece of paper you're going to do one color at a time maddie so let's go ahead and fold our piece of paper she's going to open it up and she's going to just Pull the string out, take your excess off the string, man. And when you take the excess off, just lightly run your fingers down it. You don't want to squeeze it, you just want to run the excess off. You might have colored fingers for a little bit. It's all right. And the other thing I didn't say that we had out here is we brought out some wipes. What do I do? Yeah. Go ahead and she's going to lay her string on the piece of paper. Don't let it flow around, just run it however you want and then close the piece of paper on top of it. And I'm going to give Maddie a... And she's going to then stick the, it within the pages of the book. If she can find out how to open the book. <laughs> it's a learning experience. Close the book. Press down and hang on, we're going to get over to Miles and see how Miles is doing. So Miles is going to need a little help here. Did you run your fingers down it? Yeah. Okay, now Miles is going to lay his string on his piece of paper, and he's doing it on the other side. As you can see, he's laid it down. He's going to close the piece of paper over and stick it inside his book. And he needs a wipe, too. So the next part is really easy. You have your piece of paper with your painted string inside the book, and Maddie is going to slowly pull her string out without trying to get any of it on herself which is surprisingly difficult actually and without getting it on everything else around stick it back in your cup there maddie and just get it out of the way and then she's going to find it but she's not going to open it until we get ready to do it now miles is going to pull his string put it in your cup Okay, and now find your pieces of paper in your books, guys, and let's take it out. I hope you don't care about this. No, no, I don't care about the book, no. And we're going to see what Maddie's looks like. She's going to open hers first and see what she has I think created the, here. I think the temper paint works better. And here is what Miles has created. Now, we're going to add a second color to these. And you can put as many colors on these as you want. And as they both said, they have already decided on their second color. So they are going... And I'm sorry for the video, people. <laughs> I just kind of forget that I'm holding a camera occasionally. But um, they're going to take their second color. Here's your string right here, Miles. Oh, thanks. So they're going to take their second color, mix it up exactly the same way. You might want, Maddie, you might want to squeeze it a little tighter this time to get some of the excess moisture off. Got it. And once you've got it mixed up, we're going to see Miles. He's going to lay his string out. Okay, that looks good, Miles. Now, just pull, take that out of there. Take it out. Oh, see? And that's what happens when you're working with artists. They just kind of go crazy. Run your fingers down there and get the excess off. Over top of the cup, please. Over top of the cup. There we go. And he's going to lay his string on the paper again. And this time he's going to do it across and then fold it over. Don't drag it, Miles. Don't drag it yet. Fold it over. Stick it inside your book. Here's your cloth, right there. It's a little messy. It's a little messy. But fun is usually messy. So, Maddie, you've already done yours? No. 
You didn't? Well, I didn't pull it out. I oh, no. You put the red string on? Yeah. Okay, Miles has pulled his string out. Let's see what he's got. Maddie's pulling her string out. On me. It's okay. Miles is trying to find his in the book. It's in there. I know it's in there, Miles. And Maddie has got hers pulled out. And she's ready to open it. And there is Maddie's art piece. Yeah, speaking from past experience, the temper paint works better than the the little liquid watercolor. Yeah, I, I think the red worked a little bit better. You squeezed out yeah, a little bit more of the paint. So here is Miles' piece of art. Turn it around, Miles, so I can. I can't see the back of it. Can you turn it around? There you go. Oh. <laughs> so and there is Miles' piece of work. So um, we also did this previously using cotton um, string. And it was much cleaner. Um, it would probably work better with the watercolor. Um, I thought we had a couple more pieces of the water. Str the str we do. We might try um, another one with that. Um, but you can add as many colors. The different ways that you put the string on the paper when you first lay it down is going to give you different effects. I'd like to thank both my helpers for helping demonstrate this easy project. Again, it is something that you can use with the stuff that's in your house from... You know, if you have the tempera paint or if you have liquid watercolor or if you want to use um, food coloring, di diluted food coloring, just like you would for coloring eggs or um, and paper and string. Or you could use, um, if you don't have twine, you can use cotton string or you could use any thin, um, any, any thin piece of clothy even to do this sort of artwork so hope you have fun be creative and look forward to seeing you next year at spotlight